What's going on, cryptocurrency universe? It's the Bitcoin miner here, guys. Well, I'm a married man, and I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, it's been such a whirlwind. Uh, I know crypto's been up and down, and I've got a lot of emails, lots of questions i got to try to respond to. I've been trying to respond uh, a little bit, but I've just been so busy for the last month to just having to do the decorations and setting up for the marriage, and uh, everything is a blast. I'm very, very happy. Um, it's, you know, we've definitely had a, a heck of a honeymoon, and we've, it's been a blast, guys. Anyways, I have got uh, an ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus. It's their new board out that has 13 slots that you can plug in GPUs. It is 12 of the PCI uh, 1 Express, and then one of the 16. So guys, you can actually get 16 or 12 cards running stable with this motherboard. Now, in order to do so, you're going to have to use Linux. Now, I'm going to I'm as you know, I'm a Windows guy. I'll have to get into Linux a little bit, dabble in there, uh, get this bad boy up and running with 12. First, I'm going to start with Windows, see what I can do, and then I'll move on over to Linux as my game plan. I was hoping to go ahead and get this thing in a test bed that would hold at least 6 maybe 7 cards. Um, but I went ahead and did my research on this beforehand, of course, and it's DDR4 as well, and it's the chip is the LG1151, and I unfortunately only have DDR3 and LG1150 uh, processors here, so I'm going to have to order some. At the same time, I'm going to need to rebuild another Red Miner box. I don't know if you guys have checked out this video or not. But this is uh, the box where you can get 12 GPUs running. It's called my Red Miner. Anyways, let's go back over here. And we're going to do that with one motherboard in the next build. I look really, really forward to setting this up and figuring it all out. But in the meanwhile, I wanted to go ahead and compare it to the tried and true favorite board. Uh, which is the H81 Pro BTC R2.0. Basically, the biggest difference I've noticed is they've uh, added a power reset button and a power on and off button, which is awesome. I don't longer have to use my little screwdriver trick. Um, they've made the board actually a little bit longer. It should fit everywhere that you would normally put this board. It's just a little bit longer but they left the screw holes all in the same place. So it'll fit in the same type of case. Um, this board only has two SATA 3s and two SATA 2 plugs. So if you wanna use uh, like extra hard drives uh, for storage share or something else, and you're trying to utilize your system to the max, uh, this one will help you a lot more. It does have four SATA 3s. So that way you can actually run three extra uh, hard drives or um, SSDs in your rig along with your main controllers. So I really, really look forward to using this. They've uh, also added an extra weight of adding power. And instead of having to have the Molex, you can actually use uh, SATA power. So that would be pretty neat um, as an option because not all the power supplies come with this these days these are a little bit far and in between but this just gives you an option the other thing i really noticed that i liked a lot is if we compare on this board over here uh on your fan uh, chassis plug you've got a four prong so it allows you to basically control the speed all of the other ones are three prongs until you get to the cpu fans but everything else is uh three prongs so you only have one four prong that you can control in the motherboard for your fan uh, case uh, on the new board over here they've actually got one four prong for the ca fan ca uh, case one and fan case two over here is also a four prong which is awesome so if you did want it to put this in a larger server style case or something like that uh, or just anything larger because it holds so many graphics cards you would have to uh, you know be able to run extra fans and actually control them All right, sorry got a little blurry on you guys I've, apparently I turned autofocus off accidentally So uh, other than that, I'm gonna really have to hook this bad boy up 
uh, and really get it up and running. I'm going to have to order the parts, get a chance to get the new build going, um, and look forward to getting you guys all the specs and how well this thing actually runs. And let's get 13 graphics cards in one system up and running. Really excited. All right, guys, if you haven't followed me, please consider following the channel. Uh, consider giving me a thumbs up for this video. Really appreciate it. Uh, I got lots of videos from the honeymoon. Uh, just tour videos and stuff of certain areas and go cryptocurrency. I may be posting some of that stuff. So talk to you guys later on. Bye.